Kirby's a pink puffball that does stuff, and when he does that stuff, there's music. In this video, I'm gonna go through 10 different Kirby tracks from 10 different Kirby games and recommend non-video game tracks that you might like if you like those tracks. So you can seem worldly and artistically informed, even though you're just a Kirby guy. The non-Kirby song I'm going to recommend sounds like it could be out of any early Kirby game. I find it most similar to Vegetable Valley, but really, when you hear the primitive, plucky chiptune sounds of Brand New Colony by the Postal Service, I think your mind will go straight to the Pink Puffball. I saw the Postal Service perform this live at Madison Square Garden recently, and it was amazing. It felt like I was in dreamland. My Friend in the Setting Sun plays at the end of the Revenge of Meta Knight subgame. The title and the music itself are likely homages to House of the Rising Sun, most famously recorded by the Animals. Sky High and Smitten is a track from the fan-favorite Kirby game, Kirby Planet Robobot. The funk instrumental reminds me of Michael Jackson's This Time Around. Both are pretty industrial sounding, which is a bit different than the standard fare you might think of for both Kirby and Jackson. The melodies of both never reach some ultra-high apex, which is also unique for both Kirby music and Michael Jackson music. The Halsandra world map music is beautiful and unfortunately only plays for a short time before eager players just enter the level they're trying to enter. It's quite atmospheric, being supported constantly by a slidey sound wave and featuring spacey built-up chords. Jean-Michel Jacques' album Oxygen was his first mainstream success, cementing him as a pioneer in ambient synth music history. Inspired by Pierre Schaeffer's music Concrete, Jacques crafted a six-part album, and while each part is quite distinct, Part 5 is nice and ethereal and level selecty. Welcome to the New World is a song from Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In-game, it's sung by Nichol, Nichol, a famous diva from the New World. In real life, it's unknown who this actually is at the time of this recording. The singer covered their face in live performance of this song at the Kirby 30th Anniversary Music Festival. By the way, that festival sounds like a rager. I think Naomi Tamura's voice has similar quality, and this song from the Get Backers anime, which is a banger if you've never seen it, is similar to the happy tone of the Kirby song.
Dark Star from Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards has an urgent feel with its drum and bass texture, but still with the cuteness of standard Kirby instrumentation, those high, plucky little sounds. I would compare it to this popular remix of Kira Power done by Asterisk. Still epic and pressing, but kind of cute too. If you like Machine Passage from Kirby Air Ride, I recommend giving Off World by DJ Fresh a spin. They're not very similar sounding melodically, but the structure is similar, very non-melodic, then a beautiful breakdown gently leading us back into that non-melodic stuff. Farewell to Kirby plays when viewing the final gallery picture in Kirby Star Allies. In-game, it seems to symbolize the end of Star Allies as a whole, but in the real world, it also could symbolize the drastic change in gameplay style between Star Allies and Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Anything played by a music box is nostalgic, but this one is especially so. Nibblepig does some covers, but I don't think this is a cover. It also features a music box, but is also not too sad but not too happy, like the Kirby track. A well-deserved rest is heard in between arena battles in Kirby Triple Deluxe. Here, I'm going to recommend Ravel's Pavane de la Belle au Bois Dormant, which is from the larger work Ma Mère Loe. I think I said that right. I think the first two movements taken together best relate to the Kirby track, but if I had to pick one for you, it'd be this one, since it's also about resting. This features similar relaxing yet interesting impressionist harmonies. It was originally written as a piano duet, but then orchestrated. So if you like the piano in the Kirby track, go with the original version. And if you like everything else in the Kirby track, go with the orchestrated version. To close out, let's check out Kirby's Pad from Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's similar to A Farewell to Kirby, but this one feels more intimate and cozy. Not bittersweet through its musical content, but more so through its instrumentation. In that way, it reminds me of our special song.
I hope you found something you like in this video. Like and subscribe. And you want to hear a quick story. I was, I'm a middle school teacher. And the other day I was showing my middle schoolers a video. It was like an old YouTube video. And at the end it said, rate and subscribe. And they were like, why does it say rate? And I was like, let me tell you a story, Sonny. Back in the day, you used to have a five-star rating system instead of a thumbs up, thumbs down. It was like some mind-blowing thing. And I felt old. Am I crazy to think about the stars?